Today in this video I am going to show the upgraded and reconstructed version of my multifunctional robot card which I shared with you in the last video. With this project, I first got introduced to Team Warp. Our team consisted of three members, myself, Naim Islam Shanto, Group 16, Best 24, Jaruddin Siam, Group 2, Best 24, and Ifa Chaudhuri, Group 17, Best 25, from Notre Dame College, Dhaka. We were basically inspired to work on this project for Codever International 3.0. The Bangladesh selection round and final qualification round was held in Dhaka Residential Model College. We emerged as champions in the region selection round and secured the second runner sub position in the Bangladesh final round. Unfortunately, due to a lack of funding, we were unable to participate in the international final round held in Dubai. Nevertheless, the experience of building this project as a team was invaluable. Let us now delve into the behind the scenes journey and explore the functionalities of this rover. We commenced the construction of this project immediately after our HSC test examinations with merely 20 days before the final round. Fortunately, we had the foundation of our previous multifunctional robot car allowing us to build upon it rather than starting from scratch. A significant upgrade is the redesigned chassis which is now larger and divided into two parts. This design ensures that all four wheels remain in contact with the ground, enabling the rover to navigate over a small obstacle with ease. The robotic arm has also undergone considerable improvement. The earlier version was limited in functionality, but the new arm is notably more capable and practical. We have designed a custom servo mechanism for the shoulder using a 100 RPM gear motor coupled with the control circuit of an SG90 servo motor. Additionally, we have introduced 3D printing to the project for the first time, utilizing it to create new creeper. We have further enhanced the project by integrating a water pumping system. A small submersible DC pump is used to draw water, which is then dispensed through a nozzle. To provide a visually appealing finish, we selected transparent acrylic sheets as coverings, which beautifully exposes the internal components. The line follower and obstacle avoidance systems have been significantly upgraded. Previous project used one sonar sensor attached to a servo motor for calculating distance in one direction at a time. But in this version, we have installed four sonar sensors, allowing simultaneous distance measurements in four directions. However, the algorithm still requires further refinement to fully realize its potential. There's interesting change in the line following sensor array setup. Firstly, we have replaced our handmade sensor array from the previous build with the Texture PD 10 array sensor, 5 of which are currently in use. We wanted the sensors to be separated from the ground, so instead of static arrangement, we set the array with a servo motor to deploy it when it's in line following mode and keep it in rest position in other times. This particularly helps to run over small obstacles with the articulated suspension without damaging the sensor array. Lastly, we have incorporated LEDs at the four corners, within the water tank and on the robotic arm. These lights serve dual purposes, navigation in low light conditions and visual signaling. Major hardware improvements are using Arduino Mega instead of Arduino Uno. 600 RPM metal gear motors are used with two BTS7960 motor drivers. For power distribution, we have made use of these screw terminals. Control system remains the same. This time, we have upgraded the mobile app to control the new functionalities like the pump and LEDs. AC05 Bluetooth module works as the medium for sending data back and forth from the smartphone to the onboard Arduino Mega. Now, let us proceed with a demonstration of all the features, starting with obstacle avoidance. Thanks to the 4 ultrasonic sensor, this feature now operates much faster and more efficiently than before. Only basic obstacle avoidance algorithm is currently programmed in it, but much more can be done with it by improving the algorithm. Now, let's demonstrate the line following capability. This feature will help the rover to repeatedly go through a planned trajectory precisely. 
Our articulated suspension system helps the rover to cross small obstacles. The environmental data collection system remains unchanged. After selecting the appropriate mode, the sensor board will activate and measurements of temperature, relative humidity, gas levels, light intensity and other parameters will be transmitted to the mobile app. This version of the project also includes voltage and current sensors, providing the Arduino with real-time awareness of the rover's power state and enabling it to make informed decisions. We are using an ACS712 sensor for current measurement and a simple voltage divider made with three resistors serve as the voltage sensor. One important thing to mention here is that the content of this display can be changed from the mobile app. Notice that when I press this button in the app, the content of the display is changing. On a startup, it will be showing the title of the rover, then comes the LFR air readings, sonar sensor readings, voltage and current sensor readings, current positions of the servo motors of the robotic arm. This is particularly helpful for debugging and setting threshold values. Then comes the lights. We can individually control each LED from the app. Besides, there's pattern button which sets the lights to be glowing in a specific pattern. But the patterns have not been implemented yet. Let us explore the most fascinating part of the project, the robotic arm. This manually controlled arm is capable of picking objects and placing them at different locations. The ESP32 camera mounted on the arm allows live video transmission, providing a real-time view of the surroundings. Our final feature is water pumping system. First, we will have to refill the tank manually. I have planned to make this feature automatic, where this rover can itself refill water from nearby water body. We have even included a laser for aiming at targets. Although the current pump is not yet powerful enough to project water in a straight line, I intend to improve this aspect soon. The LED inside the tank helps to monitor the water level. For controlling the pump, we have two toggle switches in our app. Turning on any one of them activates the laser and if we turn on the remaining toggle, the pump is activated. This project, which has been a significant learning experience for us, would not have been possible without the dedication and hard work of my teammates Pierre and Ifas. I extend my heartfelt thanks to them for their invaluable contributions. Like our previous project, we continue to explore and learn new concepts such as the robot operating system, computer vision, robot kinematics, and several other advanced topics with the aim of making this project fully autonomous. Our next objective is to integrate all the existing systems using the ROS framework. This will enable us to implement advanced functionalities such as automatic object detection and manipulation by the robotic arm. Please stay connected with us by subscribing to the channel as we have many exciting updates and developments in the pipeline. If you have any suggestion or idea you want us to implement in this project, please do write it in the comment. If you found this video informative, do not forget to like and share it with others. Thank you for your support.